what you guys can do in this case, all right, is actually I forgot even to label this. Um, this is, oh, let's label this like this. Um, P, Q, R, S, T. Okay? Now, when looking at this distance, all right, and looking at what we're going to have on this relationship, I want to be able to determine are these proportional to each other, right? Are these two figures proportional to each other? Do they have a ratio between their sides that is going to be equivalent to each other? So all I need to do is really determine, you know, what is really the lengths, you know, kind of these sides. Well, I can see that here I'm going RS. So this is, um, to go to R to S, I have to go down 1 over 2, right? To get to RT, you'd have to go down 2 and then over 4. So you can see that these are going to be proportional to each other. So you could say RS over ST is equivalent to RQ, RQ over PQ. Those are proportional sides. And you could say, well, how much are they really, how much, how much is this? If this is to go down 1 and then over 2, and then now I have to go down 2 over 4, what is that scale factor going to be? What am I have to multiply by one all my side lengths to get to the next one? Yeah, 2, exactly. So you can say from A to B, my scale factor in this case is 2. So that's the scale factor scale that you're going to be looking for. And we'll do another problem that's going to help us out with that. But that's exactly what you guys are looking for is trying to determine, to go from my original to my new image, what is it do I need to multiply all those lengths by to get to that? right? And remember, since we're dealing with an enlargement, we know that this k has to be greater than 1, right? To go from a to b, we're making it bigger. So we knew that number had to be greater than 1. And again, I'm just kind of looking at seeing these ratios. If this is going down 1 over, over 2, now it's down 2 over 4. You can see how that expands, OK? So that's how you determine the ratio and proportion of your side lengths.